The first automobile race was in Chicago in 1895 at the high top speed of around seven and a half miles per hour. What is up everybody? Here we are again with another beer. And I haven't did one of these guys in a while. I think the last one I did was Elvis Juice. And I seen this and I was like, oh, okay. I know where they're getting. I know what they're, I know what they're talking about. I know what they're talking about. Today, we have Brewdog Clockwork Tangerine on wordplay, I'm thinking, uh, of a Clockwork Orange, the uh, movie. Tangerine, uh, ugh, tangerine Session IPA with natu natural flavors. Look, I'm drinking already. I'm I can, I can barely read that fine print on there, so I'm not gonna waste my time. 4.5% alcohol. And born in Scotland, brewed in the USA. Come on. That's, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, I don't care. Oh well, we'll see. Yeah, the Elvis juice was pretty good too, so I was, was pretty good. I can't say two because I hadn't tried this yet, but I did. And I have to retract it. And I'm in a busy, busy day. If you don't know what I do in the daytime, is I'm a serial killer by night. Oh, that slipped out. Um, uh, I, I put labels on boxes. I run a machine and put labels on boxes. Just uh, if you go into the store and you see step two and you see like uh, the mailmaster, the box, the mailbox, we put them labels on there. The, the picture, the color picture, the, not the printed box, but the color picture. Well, my boss comes to me today and he says, I want you to do an experiment for me. How many labels can you label with, um, with one gallon of glue? So I did it five times. I poured one gallon of glue in there. I got between 190 and 205 labels right in there. So as you say about 200 labels each gallon of glue. There you go. I made him happy. I used to do it years ago, 20 some years ago, he asked me to do it. Yeah, I've been at that place for quite a long time. Uh, this year is 27 years. Anyways, it's hazy. A, a, a hazy and the head is craggly on top. If you don't know what craggly is, it's like bumpy, craggly. I can taste some tangerine in there. What's the difference between the tangerine and orange in flavor? I don't know, I'd have to get some. Not bad. It has a it has a different aftertaste. Something something came over me in an aftertaste there. I can't put my finger on it. It's okay. I mean, I, I uh, would I give this a grade? I don't know, but I do know that uh, each person in America produces about three and a half pounds of garbage every day and mostly paper. So that is interesting. We produce at work a lot of garbage. It goes right into a landfill. A lot of cardboard and plastic banding. Thousands of feet every day. What would I give this on a scale of one to five? A three, I'll give it a three. You know, it's something I wouldn't want to drink every day. It's still okay. If you like tangerine, I, 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 I kind of like the tang a little bit. I like oranges and, and they're pretty good, but it's like you can almost not read the damn label. It's like, it's really faded. I don't like when they do that stuff. I do like the shininess of the can. Ooh, shiny, shiny. You know, took my, got my attention. Ooh, that shiny thing, you know, going, gravitating toward it. Um, yeah, three, that's all I would give it. It's not, not super good, but I think, I think uh, the one George gave me, my neighbor, where is it? Where is it? Oh man, I can't find it. There it is. Wait, no, that's not it. There, there it is. Uh, 
Numbers Brewing Company, 22 Blood, or this is better. I like that one better. This is okay, but that one's better. Um, so, you know, a, you know, a, a three, you're, it, that, it's okay. I mean, not exceptionally good. I wouldn't give any higher. I wouldn't buy. I wouldn't buy a six pack. If, if you're saying if, like they had this, and they had Bush Bud Light. If you had this at your house, I probably wouldn't drink it. I'd just rather drink Budweiser or Bush Light or something like that. Whatever staples that. I hate when I go into some stores and that's all they have. They don't even have Heineken. They don't have nothing. It's all Bush, Miller Light, Bud Light, Budweiser, Coors, Coors Light. It's all. It's all they freaking have. It's like what is this a college town? Anyways. In American households, 75% of women deal with the finances. I was like, yep, including this one. So I will see you in the next video and cheers.